Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is Marjan and today what we're going to discuss is all about the difference between Outlook.com and .onmicrosoft.com email addresses that you may have. So without further delays, we're going to we're going to show you what the, what is the difference between the two. In a nutshell, Microsoft personal account is the one that we actually use to sign into our Windows PC as well. Associate them uh, associating your account to your Windows machine. So those email addresses that we can associate to our Windows 10 machine, uh, sign in with the account uh, information is the one that we have as outlook.com, live.com, or hotmail.com. These are what we call a commercial uh, office uh, account as well, or Microsoft personal account, so to say. So if you purchase a family uh, package or Microsoft Office 365, home personal that's actually going to be the account that you will be needing to have in order for you to assign to purchase the subscription other than that if you don't have the uh, outlook.com live.com or hotmail.com you will need still to uh, sign in with your account so if you have a gmail account or cox.net or any other commercial um, email address that you may have then this can be used as a uh, Microsoft account, what we call is an associated Microsoft personal account. So um, if you actually don't have the Outlook.com, you can still have a Microsoft personal account, but you will be asked by Microsoft if you want to use this as a Microsoft personal account. And now the uh, other one is the Microsoft 365 business account. So there are actually users that would like to have their own email addresses that they actually uh, have instead of the having the on Microsoft or having the live.com, they actually intended to have other features to use to their uh, business. So Microsoft also provided uh, other um, top solution for users, and that's what we call a Microsoft 365 business account. So if you purchase a subscription, which is uh, under the business account, you will need to have an on Microsoft.com email address. So you cannot use your Outlook.com, Live, or Hotmail, or even your Gmail, Cox. You cannot use them as your Microsoft 365 business account. You will be asked to create or um, uh, add a new email address that has on Microsoft.com in it. And they, they actually uh, have two different servers, which is why logging into the email address sometimes may be confusing. So that's the difference between the two. But in, if you want to have, or some other business account actually has their own vanity domain. So for instance, you have mychannel.com. That can be added on top of your on Microsoft.com account. There is a, an option there on how to add a DNS or domain to your existing on Microsoft.com. So you won't be needing to use the your domain dot on Microsoft.com. Instead, you're going to be using test at my channel.com if you want to use your own vanity domain. But that's going to be another video for us in the future. And I'm going to show it to you as well. So now what we're going to what we're going to show you is how to log into those different uh, sites for checking out your emails there are actually users that are still confused on how to get into their account so if you are to log in to your account your personal account you just need to type in outlook.live.com this will uh, enable you to log into that actual account that you want to use and without you being confused on which one you need to log in with if you type in outlook.live.com that's going to take you to your personal account. Another link is Outlook.com. That is also a personal uh, account link for you to log in with your account. As you can see, when you type in Outlook.com, it uh, changes the link to Outlook.live.com. And let me show you how to log in. You just need to click on Sign In here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my uh, test account here. I'm just going to show it to you real quick so we can actually distinguish the two. And don't worry about seeing my password because I'm going to be changing this anyways. 
There you go. And the password. There you go. So as you can see, the URL is still did not change. It actually shows outlook.live.com. And for you to, other than the URL, for you to be able to identify which account you're logged in, of course, you just need to click on the sandwich icon or uh, uh, tab there on the upper left corner of the uh, screen, and you'll be able to see the name there for your account. So you will be able to see what account and which URL are you actually currently logged in. So now if we are to open up your business account, let's create a new tab here. The link that you want to go to to get your email address for your business account is outlook.office.com. This will take you to the uh, business account that you actually have. As you can see, I already logged into my test email address, which is test0365 at nerve01.onmicrosoft.com. And it takes me to outlook.office.com as the URL. So those two, uh, those are the difference between the two. The personal is outlook.live.com and the business will actually show outlook.office.com. And you can actually see it on the side. And there you have it. So that's the difference between the two in logging in and checking out your emails. Now, if we are to log in to our Outlook application, you just need to download the application through Play Store. Now, again, this step can be used if you're using uh, uh, an iOS device. You just need to log into App Store and you just need to download the application Outlook. So you just need to search for it. In my case, it's already showing open, but if it's not installed, of course, it will show you installed there on the option to the uh, application. So I have it here on the bottom right now, Outlook. So let's open it up. So for a starter, this is actually how it's gonna look like. You just need to click on add account, and then you just need to sign in with your email address that you wanna log in with your uh, Office 365 account. So in my case, we're going to use my test email address again. So we're going to try to log in to my personal account first, and then I'm going to show you how to log in to your business account later. So as you can see here, since it's using Exchange, you don't necessarily need to make any changes with the setting. All you need to have is uh, all you need to do is just sign in with your account, with your uh, email account and password, and that's it. You don't need to necessarily change the setting for your account because it's already exchanged. There you go. So you can see it's already it already added my account, and this is actually how it looks like. This is actually the personal account that we managed to sign in. Now, if we are to log in to another account, we just need to click on the mail icon there just below the blue icon for Outlook on the upper left corner. Click on the plus sign, click add account, and then you just need to sign in to your account. So it actually detected the accounts that I actually have earlier. And so what we're gonna type in is we are gonna go ahead and uncheck them all and then skip and then sign in with the business test account that we have, which is There you go. So as you can see here, this are the this is how you can differentiate or differentiate what uh, uh, account you actually have. If it's the blue icon at the top right corner of your screen or top left of the corner of your screen, that's going to be your personal account, 
And if it's the red icon, that's going to be your Microsoft 365 business account. And you'll be able to see them and distinguish them from the icon that you have. So again, if it's blue icon, that's the personal. The red icon for Office, that's going to be your business account. So if you want to disconnect the email address, you can actually disconnect it from here. Click on the settings from the upper or from the lower uh, left side corner of your screen. Click on your email address and click on delete account. That's how you want to delete it. Same goes with the other account. Just select it and delete account. And there you have it. Everything is has been removed. Now this one right here is like a, a feature for the application. It will detect the other email address that you may actually have. So it will find three accounts found in your, in your Outlook application. You just need to disregard that. So I hope that this video helps you and uh, find the answer to your question. If you have questions or comments or feedback with a, with a video that you've watched today, please feel free to note it down on the comment section. Again, thank you very much for your time and patience and thank you for, for your, uh, your time. And I hope you don't forget to click on the subscribe button and hit the like button as well if this video helped you. Again, thank you very much for your time. You have a good one. And again, God bless everyone. Goodbye.